Our next contestant's Vera Clem, and she's going to speak to us about HIV, Make Sleep Great Again. So I don't know about any of you, but I love sleep. And since starting my PhD, I'm definitely not getting enough sleep. Yeah, I know, it seems to be quite normal. But actually for me, this is really ironic, considering the fact that I'm working on a sleeping pill. Not for myself, but for the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV. HIV as an active virus is known to cause a lot of health issues. It's when the virus is integrated in our cells and then it's producing more and more virus and thereby actually destroying our immune system. And it can also spread to other people. Now here's the fun fact, even HIV sleeps. We call this a latent state. And in this latent state, the virus is integrated in our cells, but it doesn't produce any more virus and therefore it doesn't destroy our immune system or spread to another person. Now, using the knowledge we have about this latent state, my colleagues generated a drug that forces HIV into the sleeping stage. So I'm working with the sleeping drug, and it's already shown that as soon as the cell takes up their medication, the virus falls into a deep sleep. And as long as the cell keeps taking that medication, it actually cannot reactivate the virus. So you might wonder why I would still have sleepless nights. So the problem I'm facing is the delivery of that drug into each and every single possibly infected cell in a human body. And cells are a bit comparable to little kids. They don't always like to take their medication. So you go ahead and you have to sugarcoat it for them. So if you have a couple of kids, you have to figure out if they want uh, cherry flavor or the orange flavor. Now, I don't work with a couple of kids. I work with a couple of billion cells. And I have to figure out the sugar coating for each and every single cell type. And like it is with the pills for kids, it's all the same coating, just different flavors. So I'm using the same coatings with antibodies and proteins, but I have to figure out which flavor to add so that each and every different cell type wants to take up their medication. And then finally, all of them take up the medication and we can put HIV back into a lifelong sleep. And with that, I could finally go back to having a great night's sleep again myself. Thank you.